This video is an overview of how to plot more than one thing on the same chart with specific applications to Spectra. If you've tried to upload a Spectrum to the Ursa Viewer tool using the Catalogs tab, you may not have been terribly successful. If you just, without thinking too hard, try to upload a table, it may in fact grab the first two numerical columns from the file, and that is not a terribly helpful plot. But if your Spectrum is consistent with the spectral data model, you can tell it, please try to interpret the tables that I'm giving you as a spectrum. And when you do that, things look a lot better. When you do that, it does in fact try to get the orders plotted on the same chart with different colors corresponding to the different orders. And it has grabbed the flux density and the errors correctly. Now, it is still struggling a little. You note that it's grabbed the wavelength correctly, but it's printed for you a helpful new rather than a lambda, and it understands that the units are actually in microns. It understands that the units here are in Janskys in F nu, and it has, in fact, put all of the orders on the same plot. So that's good. Let's get rid of the incorrectly loaded table so we only have the good table in here. Let's get another spectrum in here. This is the same object, a different observation. So we've got now two different spectra in here. What if I would like to get them both on the same chart? Let's pin this chart. Let's go to this one and let's pin this chart. So now I have two pinned charts, one from this table and one from this table over on this side. Over here, I'm going to do combine chart. Now, this one you can see in the background, this one is outlined in orange. And so it knows that this is the one that I've selected. And it's asking me, do I want to combine this second chart with the one that I have highlighted? And if I want to, I can change the legend for the orders, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So now, I have a combined chart. Let's do one at a time because it's easier to see. Now I have a combined chart which has all the first four orders from the first one and the, four, the second four orders from the second one, all on the same chart. So that's really useful because it allows me then to compare the two spectra of the same object on the same chart. You can also do that in slightly different contexts. If I do an extraction on an image, let me draw a line across this feature here, pin that chart, and then shift to wise two, pin that one, shift to wise three, pin that one, shift to wise four, pin that one. In the extraction, make this bigger. Now I'm going to select line one, I'm going to combine the chart. Now I want to combine all of them, and this time I want to do, I want to call this one Ys1. This one should be Ys2. This one should be Ys3. And this one should be Ys4. Okay, now I have a combined chart with all four of the wise channels. It might be a little hard to see, so let's change the chart options so that the Y axis is a log. So now I've got the four extractions on one plot. Also very useful. So here I've combined things that aren't spectra onto one chart, and it's done so without complaining. If I go over here, because it understands that these are spectra, it's not going to let me change the units or the columns because it's trying to follow the fact that these are spectra and it's trying to get the, the errors propagated appropriately and all the rest of it. So I have a little bit more flexibility when I'm trying to combine things that aren't spectra, at least in this current release of this tool. More improvements will be coming soon.